As we start a new week here at Life with the Bridges, Teddy's new way of taking his meds now he has no NG tube is, well, let's just say there's room for improvement. Are you done a poo-poo? Yeah, I'm done a poo-poo. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, you put it down there? Yeah. So Daddy rescue him? I'll tell it. <laughs> no, but Milky. Milky. Yeah. Teddy never says no to Milky in the morning. I think, ladies and gentlemen, this little cub was on to us in disguising his meds in his morning Milky. Euston, we have a problem. So it's now five to seven, and he woke up at three o'clock last night and had a load of milk, which our problem is now. It is, as I said, five to seven, and we need to get this meds in him, and he doesn't want it. And I haven't actually tried. I've got two options. We either wait until he's hungry, but then miss his meds time. Or I put them in orally, knowing that they 100% have gone in. But the penicillin tastes horrendous. So it is likely to make him gag or potentially throw up. So, yeah, a bit of a predicament. We've got five, five minutes till seven o'clock. So I'll see what that brings. But run into the same problem with this milk and med situation. Sometimes it works like a dream. But if it's all dependent on what he's had prior to this moment, to whether he's hungry or not. So you miss meds time or you do it the horrible way, and which is going to really upset him. So we shall see. Blue? Yeah. We're going to have some milky Ted's. We need to have your morning milky, darling. No. Just quickly. No. Okay. You either have to have your milky or you have to do your meds in your mouth. Your shout, darling. No. Would you rather milky or meds in, meds in your mouth? Chuby. We haven't got your chuby anymore, darling. Would you like milky or meds in your mouth? A little bit of milky and then we can play Play-Doh. It's a choice. No. All you have to do is drink a little bit of milky and then it's done. Then Daddy's going to have to put the meds in your mouth. Yeah. Do you want a little bit of milky and then we can play Play-Doh? Yeah. Come on then. We have a choice, baby. We can either have this or Daddy does his medicine and then Teddy does his two medicines. What would you like to do? Daddy, Daddy do his medicine. Mmm. Teddy do his? Or would you like to drink this? One done. Well done. Well done. That's horrible taste. Well done, darling. All done. All done. You're a superstar. Do you want to play play day? Get donkey. Get donkey. Go, go, go. <laughs> I've got to suck this milk off. It's so much easier. That penicillin tastes awful. Do you want some juice, darling? Yeah. You took that like a champ. He did it. You're so brave, aren't you? Well done, darling. It's got to be the easiest way to do it, I'm afraid. Just get him straight in and, and he'll get used to it. It's over in seconds rather than all that apprehension of potentially drinking half his meds that don't go in or do go in or, yeah, get it done. Over in seconds and play. Is the new plan. With meds all done, we were starting our Sunday with some freshly squeezed juice to fill up on vitamin C, baby! Bit of raw ginger going in. Good for gut health. We're just making some juice. Do you want to come and see? Yeah. Come on then. Come and see mummy's new juice. Oh, look. It's orange and ginger juice with mummy and daddy. But Teddy can try it if you like. Woo! Thank you. Oh, you can taste that ginger. Wow. Oh. Oh. That's spicy! With our orange and ginger juice down the hatch, our guts in tip-top shape and our taste buds still throbbing, it was time for some breakfast all together to try and help introduce sitting at the table into Teddy's routine a bit more to help promote that little bit more normality into his life. Although he didn't eat anything, just sitting and watching myself and Katie eat different foods, in our eyes, is a great stepping stone to actually having a long-term scenario of our child sitting at the table eating a ginormous healthy meal rather than sit on the carpet in front of a phone eating 25 potato waffles. But progress is progress, and we'll get there in time. Talking of progress, our front and back garden was looking like an overgrown mess, so it was time to give them a good short back and sides.
Usually in life, you only have to maintain and trim your front bushes. But unfortunately, not the bridge family. We have to trim our bloody back bush as well. What a way to start a Sunday. Look at the state of these hedges. Look, I've almost barely walked through them. And I only cut them like two, three weeks ago. But these now need a dressing. Right, back on the hedge trimmer. Three, two, one, go! slugs and snails. I mean they're everywhere. I tried to think how many snails are in here. But apologies, my bush needed trimming. Oh, oh just just trodden this now, just trodden this now. Oh I hate that. Treading on snail. Don't tread on the bush. Don't tread on the leaves. Oh, there he is. Oh. Sorry, mate. Anywho, one head down, one to go. Oh, there he is. Oh. Okay, that's enough snail sweeping. On to the next hedge. Look at that. So much better. All tidy, all straight. You going for a nap? Night, night. Night, night. Night, night. Night, night, darling. Love you, mate. With Teddy awake from his nap, it was time to do his two o'clock oral meds, which slowly but surely were becoming more of a routine. And the meds went down, and we are off to a local country fair all together as the Bridge family. And as we were going to a country fair, it was only right that we got Teddy dressed up right for the occasion. With us arriving at the fair and it looking pretty busy, it was only a matter of minutes before Katie was already spending our money on a good old fashioned drinks raffle. She bought five tickets and won absolutely nothing. Whereas Teddy on the other hand was off in search to find himself some new toys. With three new second hand horses bought for 60p, he was as happy as pig in sh you got three horses for 60p! Wow! Look at the views here, they are stunning! Got a little football tombola, archery. Wow! And more importantly, we found the Pim's tent. Even better. Oh my goodness, what have you got? All your dinosaurs, look how many they are! Yet yeah, T-Rex. T-Rex, good boy. Stegosaurus. How the hell do you know that? Teddy-saurus. Teddy-saurus. Yet T-Rex. Wow. T-Rex. Wow. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With the country fair done, we stopped off at a nice country pub for a drink whilst our little boy ran free in the garden collecting, you guessed it, more treasure. <laughs> what have you found? Me. More treasure. Nice. As amazing as it was that all of his new 50p dinosaur collection were lined up, if I'm honest, I think they are all as happy as I was watching Teddy picking the heads of somebody else's flowers for once. With the pub garden now completely flowerless, it was time for a spot and head back home to watch the England game. England! Hey, yeah. Say England! Hey, yeah. What a dream come true, watching England hey, on the sofa yeah. with your son. Don't get better. Hey, yeah. England! England! <laughs> England! <laughs> Stop that there, that is the wrong way up. Ted, should we go swimming? 
Let's go. So we are up this morning and we are doing another tube free activity. Swimming. But we are going to a lovely child friendly swimming pool that is really, really shallow as they enter so Teddy can walk in. So we're hopefully get a little bit of progress in terms of Teddy swimming and actually get him in the pool. But we're going with my mum and stepdad and one of Teddy's cousins, Tommy. And Tommy loves the water. So hopefully we'll influence Teddy to go in and get this little boy in the pool and start his swimming journey. So really excited. Lovely way to start the week. So uh, let's head to our morning full of swimming. Should we go swimming, Ted? Yeah. Woohoo! Are you ready to go swimming? Yeah. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> Look, show everyone, Ted, you got wet hair because you were dunking your head under the swimming pool, weren't you? You big clever boy. We are now home and what a great success that was, to be fair. It's, um, it's the second time he's been swimming since his tube has come out and it was just absolutely amazing I mean, the progress that he made in the hour that we spent in the pool was phenomenal he went from obviously the first five ten minutes not being too sure whether he wanted to go in or not unfortunately i couldn't film it but out of respect for all the other children and parents that were also in the swimming pool with us but um by the end of the hour he wanted to just almost dive in we i was leaving him being face down with his head under the water for two three seconds and then bringing him back out letting him stand and walk in the water and it was just amazing and it really puts us in good stead for when we hopefully go away to France to my mum's place which has got a pool and hopefully he will just thrive and just love the water and I think it's really important skill that we wanted to embed into Teddy to be able to swim and um, he's got some catching up to do but the progress has been made just within two swims so it's fantastic and for me as a father just to be able to see him be normal and have no tube across his face he was a normal child in a swimming pool and i felt like a normal father with a normal child and it was incredible absolutely amazing and really really special it's nice for teddy not to be tarnished with that kind of cancer appearance by uh, the evident tube nobody knows what he's been through and um only we do and you guys do so well uh, yeah feeling really really grateful and just thankful that we've had the opportunity to expose teddy to such a, a normal childhood activity like swimming so but he's now asleep having a nap and then as soon as he wakes up we've got his cousin Maddie coming over and then we're going to shoot over to my mum's and have an afternoon of playing and um, yeah, feeling very grateful. Hello my little swimmer, my little fish, you okay? Missed you. I'll let you wake up darling. Daddy just going to do his meds and Teddy do a quick med and then we'll go downstairs. <laughs> Don't be fit, you're fine darling. Daddy do his... Okay. Well done. Oh, a superhero. Should we go downstairs now? Oh yeah. All done. Simple as that. No worries in the world. As soon as it's done, we can play. We can play now. I'm so brave. We've got two horses, one for each hand. You lucky boy. Let's go downstairs and play, yeah? With the meds done and each time getting a little bit easier, a quick spot of lunch with his cousin, which gave him some energy to go on a cleaning spree. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job. How about this one? How about this one? Go for it. With all the steps cleaned, we headed home to end another lovely day. I know I say kids grow up quickly, but according to Teddy, his feet had grown by 10 sizes overnight. Teddy finally finding some shoes that actually fit him. We headed out for a morning to a new park. Then we headed home to address Teddy's scruffy hair. This cheeky monkey is about to have this little bush trimmed by our professional homemade barberette named Katie. You having your haircut? Yeah. Woohoo! Make you a cool dude for the wedding. Yeah. We're going to a wedding on Saturday. So, uh, yeah. And this little chap's got a big role. He's going to be walking down the aisle. So he needs to look fresh. We try not to bump his head, no bumps or bruises or anything like that, because he's going to be uh, 
hot off the press and been packed left, right and centre. Time to cut the carby's hair. Lots of loaded. Wow, Teddy, look at your new cool hairdo. Once we get some gel in that, that'll look awesome. Time to get the hair off this little boy. Oh, look at Tell you what, bath times are so good now because you can literally just squirt them in the face, you can put a cup over his head. We waited months and months and months to just be able to tip water over your son's head. Oh, tell you what, it's an absolute dream come true. Right, bath done, time to go and get the cup. I need a way to incentivize him that bath time is fun. So I've got my 50p dinosaurs from the fair the other day. They're all dirty, they need a wash. Now I'm going to get the cup. Now, why does it take this much effort just to bath a little kid? We've got two horses, got six balls, a horse that's not even meant to go in the bath because it's made out of velvet, five dinosaurs, he's got a dinosaur in his hand and a baby that definitely can't go in. Talking of the devil, look at all of your stuff in there, ready and waiting, and all your dinosaurs need washing because they're dirty. Oh, all the dinosaurs! Hello! <laughs> My name's Charlie the Chicken! <laughs> and my name's Calvin the Cow! <laughs> anyway, more to the point, we need to wash you because you can have a Dunkin' now and I'm all here for it. <laughs> oh, wait, it's so long! Just to be able to just rub his head, give him a good scrub behind the ears, in the ears, that without a tube that? that's going to cut off his face. That? What's, that doing? What's that doing there? It's a starfish. Look at this round the face, oh, neck, ears. Yeah. He's going to be gleaming at the wedding. Prince Teddy, at your service. No tube, no line. Oh, this is just an absolute miracle. Woohoo! Ready? Three, two, one, close your eyes. Well done. Open your eyes, you're fine. Woohoo! One more. Close your eyes. Three, two, one, woohoo! All done, all done. All done, now we have fun. Let's go. Daddy, dry your face. Don't be sorry, it was me that did it to you, mate. Daddy, dry your face, watch your eyes. That's it. <laughs> oh! Look at you, fresh! you got fresh hair, you can smell like soup! Oh! So you spike your hair up really cool. Woohoo! Sonic the Hedgehog, Daddy. Love it, Ted! Love it, Ted! Love it, Ted! Mwah. Best bath time ever! You doing the washing of your face now? <laughs> we never used to let our boy run round without any clothes on because we were worried that he'd catch his tube. But now, this boy can finally be free and he is loving it. Ted, come and show everyone your new haircut. Look at that belly. <laughs> That's a good time to end that video there. Come back for our next video where we go back to hospital and have the worst cannulation experience to date. Teddy takes hide and seek into his own hands. <laughs> <laughs> and myself and Teddy go on an amazing nature trail adventure in search of one of the world's biggest handmade chairs.
Don't forget to hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, click the join button if you want to be one of our exclusive Bridge family members and remember, live for today, as tomorrow is never promised.